Sorry, Chad, you're going to have to readjust that. Right. No. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to read two poems. Um, the first one here is one by me, and the second one is by my grandmother. I'm doing a family history project on her, and I think this one's pretty interesting. <coughs> this one, uh, the first one, <coughs> is about uh, the process of remembering and how you remember things, like lying in bed and remembering a person or a past romance or something nice or something bad, and uh, just the process. And, I wrote this when one of those memories came about, and I don't quite remember what the memory was exactly, and I titled it Swimming. I've been working on this for a little while, so I think it was about swimming, but the metaphor I chose also involves a fish, which Chad might enjoy, I hope. Um, so it might be about the fish, I can't remember. Uh, swimming. This memory flashes as sun struck trout scale. Mercurial, it breaks the surface of my third decade and gasps. Caught in midair, it gurgles forth a beam point. An element carried up from deeper waters, unsluiced. A pearl that once glimpsed returns in infinite grains to the depths beyond the glint. Thank you. Okay, second one. Uh, this is, uh, like I said, my grandmother's uh, a poem she wrote, and she has a lot of these that she left behind in addition to family history stuff. And it's always interesting to uh, uh, have writing in addition to, you know, the normal, I was born in Garland, Utah, and you know. So this one is insightful because it talks about her uh, relationship to her father, which was kind of strained, and you'll be able to see that in the poem. It's called Late. I mourn my father. I'm afraid to relive him lest my heart break. He had circled outside my perimeter, did not intrude, but hovered undetected. I rejected. To the end of his days, I was no partaker of his feast. I had no taste. He ate in barrenness at the last, in cold hospital nights, calling my name. I did not wait. Once I hugged his sedated body, bridled to tubes, bitten with sores, said good night, turned. Surprisingly, he answered, a gruff, solid sound, a deep, last greeting. Had he always heard me, waited my lifetime to answer to words I did not speak. Always ready to say good night, tears tremble, tears I dare not loosen, I will drown. Thank you. Mm -hmm.